Playoff week of the season is over with. RMU enters the home stretch of the season, final six games of the regular year. I'm Matt Geica with head coach Derek Schooley. A trip to Holy Cross is coming up, but I'm sure you would say, if you look back at this off week, probably a pretty good time for it to reset both physically and emotionally going into an important part of the season. Well, it was, a, it was an interesting week. We got uh, some work done uh, on the ice. Uh, we got some work done off the ice, uh, working on our, uh, our team and our group. We've got uh, some community service done. We had the Hall of Fame dinner with Denny Urban. We got some recruiting done. Uh, we had a, 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 uh, a long and productive off week. And then we came back on Monday, and we've had a very good week of practice. Our guys are, are engaged. Uh, they are uh, intense. Uh, they come to work. And uh, everything that we kind of worked on in the off week has uh, moved on to work continuing with, the, uh, with everything in the uh, uh, week leading up to Holy Cross now. You mentioned after the final game against Sacred Heart a couple of weekends ago, you needed to work on offense and scoring some goals. So what goes into that during a typical practice when you are focusing on that? Well, we did a lot of uh, scoring stations. We did some uh, uh, half ice stuff. We did some small games. We did everything with pucks around the net and uh, being uh, deliberate. We've got a lot of guys that can score goals here. It's just for whatever reason right now, they weren't going in. But that's all going to change moving forward. We, uh, we, we cured our, uh, all of our, our ills, hopefully, and uh, ready for the final six games. And, and uh, like I said, couldn't be happier with how practice has gone, the positivity, um, our, the feeling around the, the team, and uh, it was a good time to reset. In your coaching experience, have you used off weeks in a similar fashion like this? Whether you needed it or not, I'm, I'm sure it's a, a refreshment no matter where you are in the standings or what the team is, is doing currently. Well, you gotta have, you gotta take some time and you gotta get healthy. You gotta take some time and give our guys a chance uh, to get caught up in school. I mean, you look at it, we're five of six on the road to end the season. Uh, we were, I think, what was it, uh, 10 of 13. So we've had a lot of travel. We had to get caught up in our schoolwork. Uh, we are student athletes. And uh, so we got a ch chance to get caught up in schoolwork, chance to get our bodies to uh, recover, and a chance to, to make sure that we're focused on uh, what's ahead of us, and that's the last six games. Well, the series upcoming against Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts, it's a rematch of a series right at the end of the fall semester, a really grinded out type of series. Two nothing results when either way it was a split here at the island. And um, I think I remember correctly, you talked about how you thought the, your team was pretty good in that second game, even though you lost it. So what did you learn from that series? Well, they're, they've got uh, really good defensemen. Their defensemen activate uh, Trapp and Coughlin are very good. Uh, Laughlin, Laughlin's good up front. And uh, their goaltender who uh, has played very well. It's not about when you play a team, or it's not about how the team is, it's about when you play them. And Holy Cross is playing very well right now. And we're getting them at a, a time where they're feeling good about their game. They've got uh, a lot of go things going. David Brard's a good coach. And uh, this is a battle. We're in the same spot in the standings. We've, uh, we've, we've reset our standings, and we want to do good in our, uh, do as well as we possibly can in our last six games. But the uh, fact of the matter is we're tied where we're at. And uh, if we want to finish uh, in a home ice playoff spot, we've got to do the job on the road. And, and uh, if, if this weekend is any uh, indication, or this week of practice is any indication how the weekend is going to be, go. We're going to enjoy this weekend of hockey. Well, let's shift gears for the, the final part of this. You mentioned the Denny Urban induction into the RMU Hall of Fame. That's your third player to, yep. uh, to be so honored. And uh, it was great to see him get the, uh, get the award last Friday. What are your feelings on Denny specifically as an athlete? Um, not the biggest guy, but boy, did he put up points at this level from the blue line. Yeah. Well, I was really excited that I was, had, had the opportunity to attend the previous two with Chris Margot and Nathan Longpre. We were out of town. So didn't get a chance to do that, and uh, very proud of all three of them. And to be able to be, be in the Athletics Hall of Fame is a, a great thing for our program. But uh, Denny is, uh, was a uh, smooth skating, uh, offensive guy who joined the play, excellent on the power play, and controlled the game from the back end. Him, Nathan Longpre were, uh, came in and when our, 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 I guess, year four, their first game was a win over Boston University. Mm -hmm. Uh, their first trip was to Alaska where we won the tournament. And over the four years, uh, they roomed together, they, were, uh, uh, they played together for four years, and uh, they're in the Hall of Fame together. And I was really proud of uh, the fact that I could be there and watch Denny get inducted. And uh, he did a lot of very good things, uh, as those three guys did. And like I said, we haven't talked about the other two, but um, 
they're all in that in the Hall of Fame for a reason, and uh, I couldn't be happier for them. That's all part of the rich tradition being built here at the island, and RMU takes it to the road, try to build some more of that tradition. Kicking into the home stretch, we'll have coverage at RMUcolonials.com Friday and Saturday games at Holy Cross.